In this video, we will discuss what is one-way ANOVA. Assumption of one-way ANOVA test. How to build research question according to your data set. How to build hypothesis. How to perform it using SPSS. And how to interpret the results. One-way ANOVA is a statistical test used to determine whether there are any statistically significant differences between the mean of three or more independent groups. It helps in understanding if at least one group mean is different from the others by comparing the variability between groups to the variability within groups. Let's see what are the assumptions for one-way ANOVA test. First assumption is independence of observations. The independence of observation is a critical assumption in statistical analysis like one-way ANOVA. This assumption means that each observation in your data set should be independent of the others. In other words, the value of one observation should not influence or predict the value of another observation. Second assumption is normally distributed groups. That means your data should be normally distributed. Third assumption is homogeneity of variance. That means variance of groups should be equal. Let's build research question according to our data set. This is our data set. So in this data set, we have three groups and this is the mark of students. So this is our research question. Is there a statistically significant difference in the mean scores among the different groups? So let's build our hypothesis according to this research question. These are the hypotheses for one-way ANOVA test. Null hypothesis. All group means are equal. Alternative hypothesis, at least one group mean is different. Let's see how to perform one-way ANOVA test using SPSS. This is our data set. In here, we have three groups and 30 observation. Go to analyze, click compare mean and then one-way ANOVA. And put our marks into dependent list. Put our group into factor box and click option, tick descriptive and tick homogeneity of variance test and click continue and click OK. So this is our output results. Let's interpret this. In this table, the value of the Levine statistic is used to test the null hypothesis that the variance across the groups are equal. So in this case, our null hypothesis is variance across the groups are equal. So alternative hypothesis is variance across the groups are not equal. If the p-value is greater than the significant level 0.05, you fail to reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is less than 0.05, you reject the null hypothesis. In this case, the p-value 0.259 is greater than 0.05, meaning you fail to reject the null hypothesis. This indicates that there is no significant evidence to suggest that the variance are different across the group. If you want to check normality of your data, please watch my previous video. I will attach that video link into description box. So I am not going to perform normality test here. This is ANOVA table and we got 0 as our p-value. Since the p-value is less than 0.05, you reject the null hypothesis. This indicates that there are statistically significant differences between the mean of the groups. In other words, at least one group mean is significantly different from the others. The large F statistic and the very low p-value suggest that the differences between the groups are substantial and not due to random variation. 